So yeah. Have I seen some weirdness? Yes. Can I tell you about it? Yes. But I think we're already pretty far into this thing. We can do that yeah. another time. Well, I was just getting ready to say, uh, yeah, like maybe, uh, maybe you can come back and tell us about some of those, those experiences. That'd be yeah. Cool. And I'm guessing you, well, I guess you can't call them UFOs anymore. Oh yeah, they're what do they call them? They're, they're UAPs. 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 Yeah. Uh, you know, unidentified anus phenomena. I mean, aerial phenomena. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, right? There's one thing about it. I I think I think it's kind of ridiculous it, the, the way language changes sometimes. But <laughs> th- there's one. Uh, I just I just heard everything <laughs> that you didn't say. Well done, sir. <laughs> um, well done, sir. I think that one of the, but I, I, this change, there's one positive to it for me, and that's that we have UAPs, but that also create, creates now USPs, which have Mark often Pimples. been often been left out of the story, which is some, you know, the, the ones that go into water. And so it's given them a way to be able to differentiate them. Um, so yeah. That's the only benefit of it, but I do think it's kind of like, like I said, I I don't know. I, I'm not saying that I know the answer to anything with this, but there is something with all this changing to the UFO to the UAP to this um uh dis- this semi disclosure that's come out and the military videos they've released and all of this uh, Chinese spy balloons and uh, motherships in our solar system. There's something going on here, and I I can't put my finger on it. I can't put my finger on it, but there's well, there's something. Let me tell you going what I've been. Te- I'll tell you what I've been saying for decades now, because it's I think it's valid. And when I say this, you're going to be like, oh, I think that Area 51. I know that Area 51 exists because mm-hmm. I live in yes. I live in this state, right? I've driven through it. I've seen the signs, right? authorized to use deadly force if you go beyond this point that is the worst kept secret in american secret intelligence history mm-hmm. right they, they claimed it didn't exist forever oh, okay yeah. it exists but you just can't come here i don't think there's anything at area 51 <laughs> i don't think there's anything there now <clears throat> for sure i think that I don't it know is, there ever was I think, I think it, that is the magician's assistant. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Look over here. I've, I'm wearing sparkly clothes and I have a nice body. Well, there's really something going on. Yeah. You know, in New Mexico or, mm-hmm. you know, one of the rural areas of Colorado or something, because this, this place has gotten too much attention yeah. and it's almost like they taunt people. Like if you With go on to, if you go onto Google Earth and you start, you know, moving around in there, they've got all kinds of like weird uh, drawings in the dirt and sculptures and things that you can literally zoom down on. There's like an elementary school there with swings and stuff, right? And it's almost like they do that on purpose so that people spend more, spend all of their time paying attention to that. Yeah. Where the real thing mm-hmm. is perfectly perfectly hidden somewhere yeah which i feel like that's what what uh, frosty's talking about here like look at these chinese yeah. spy balloons yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like really going like, like are we really worried about spy here. balloons and they like they don't want us to look at <laughs> and and then they're you know yeah there's some dis like, like they're intentionally trying to put us off the trail if there is a trail like, I don't know what their game is, but there's a game afoot, yeah. so to speak. <laughs> well, Je- yeah. Je- Jesse Marcel, actually, you know who Jesse Marcel is? No. I don't. He, w- he was the, I think, Navy um, officer who was responsible for uh, initially telling the story of Roswell the way that, that he said it happened. Mm. And then he was also the person that was responsible for undoing his own story and saying actually this is what hit this is what actually happened gotcha. right it was actually a weather balloon that had dummies on it and you know whatever right um but jesse marcel um shortly before his death kind of deathbed confession said all right i'm gonna tell you everything right i'm gonna share it all with you because if they kill me now i don't care yeah <laughs> you know i'm out of here 
And it's an interesting, you should look it up. You should read about it because uh, interesting story because initially the whole Roswell incident was reported as a downed UFO. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that, that was not retracted for days. Yeah, you can and actually suddenly, you can actually buy like uh like copies. Their you know, they're new yeah. new versions, but you can buy yeah. copies of the headline and yeah. UFO found in Roswell, New Mexico farmhouse or farm field or whatever, right? Well, then they came out with the story that it was a weather balloon and it had dummies on it, and that's why there were people that we saw there. But it but it doesn't wipe out the the fact that Jesse Marcel saying we've got this like indestructible metal. But if you cut it, it just folds back together like like mercury, mm-hmm. right? It was the impact that broke this thing. It wasn't that this thing can't heal itself because it can, you know. Oh, and they were carting bodies off that that yeah. now are you know weather balloon dummies. Mm-hmm. Why would you send a dummy of in a weather balloon? <laughs> One of them, much less four of them, right? They think we're dummies. That's why we'll we'll just believe it. Well, I think what they were afraid of is that that everybody would freak out. Like, like yeah. you confirm that there, there, there are religious implications to that. Well, right? yeah. Well, that, well that's that, yeah. that's for sure. There was a study, uh, and I used to know the name of the institute, and this was in the '90s. This is something that Art Bell used to talk about all the time. But I, I could look that up, and I can put it in Discord later. But uh, there was a study done that said, uh, look, if the government were to come out with disclosure and say, yes, there are extraterrestrial beings and they have visited Earth, that the world would implode uh, from from humans just not being able to accept that information. Because um, it has religious implications, it has political implications, it has all kinds of humanitarian you know, because mm-hmm. you you want to think everyone's gonna go kumbaya. Hey, we're all one group of people. We have intelligence throughout the galaxy, or or wherever. But that's probably not, at least at that point in time in the '90s, the way humans would have reacted. And I don't know how much that's changed, or if it's changed at all. No, no, human beings are not smart. Mm-hmm. Not by yeah. nature, we're not smart, especially and in groups. Very- and we're very emotional and we're very prone yeah. to do it. Like you said, mob mentality. We're very prone uh-huh. to attach ourselves to stupid moments and, and, and throw ourselves out of control. If, if, if all of us individually could, could, could take a moment to intellectually understand those things, we'd probably be all right. But Which if comes we are right back to the beginning of the conversation about people needing to listen to each other and have right. conversations. Well, but if we're outside together, let, like, let's say we're all hanging out on the Las Vegas Strip one night, right? Sounds good. Let's do, have, let's do it. Let's do it. You twisted and, his arm. And the UFO comes flying over the Strip. Whether you are initially afraid of it or not, if you've got 15 or 20 people around you that are terrified and they start running and freaking out, well, you're going to have to respond differently, right? Mm-hmm. And it's probably going to inspire in you some fear. And if you're older and a little bit more, you know, emotionally under control, maybe you won't, but maybe now you have to corral your kid who's freaked out. Yeah. Right. These things happen and they happen quickly. Oh yeah. They happen so fast. And I think that the, 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 the point of, you know, we, we don't want to disclose this and we don't want everybody to know about this because they'll freak out. I think there's some, there's a lot of truth to it. Mm-hmm. You know, sure. there, there's there's been some indication that the Vatican has actually got some information on on precisely this subject. They cannot and will not release, and they can t- they they keep under wraps specifically because of the religious implications of it, and that it would utterly destroy the Christian Church. Forget the Catholic Church, the Christian Church, and and, yeah. and, and under uh, all of them, all twenty three thousand denominations. <laughs> 